is Linera, the new Holy Grail Foundation. I'm trying it for the first time today. Hello, beautiful people. This is Anne, Fabulous Life 101. Thanks for tuning in today. On my channel, I cover makeup and skincare, occasionally fashion and travel. Basically, things that make you feel more fabulous at any age. Well, I ordered this. I've been seeing all kinds of things on Instagram and TikTok, claiming that it's like the holy grail. Women who are wrinkled and covered with age spots, all of a sudden putting this on and looking 15, 20 years younger. I decided to order it. I'm trying it for the very first time today. So what do I think? Stay tuned. Well, today is my very first day trying this La Nera Full Coverage Soft Matte Liquid Foundation. I got the shade L4 Buff Beige. It says shake first, then use. I did put on some serums and sunscreen. I did not put on any primer. So let's see how this holds up. First time using it, so you gotta make several pumps, I guess, before it comes out. All right, just start with a light application and take my brush. This is the BK Beauty brush. The ad showed all kinds of women with lines and age spots wearing this foundation and their skin looking young and firm. I'm gonna try a little bit more. I always start off very light and then decide maybe add a little more or not, so. It's the first time using it. I'm gonna give it a go, see how it holds out during the day. And let's make sure I get the neck here, get everything covered. Okay, that's pretty full coverage. I'm gonna do the rest of my makeup off camera and get right back to you. Okay, the rest of my makeup is done. I did set with a tiny bit of powder, but um, like I said, no primer. So I'm just gonna see how it holds out through the day. According to this, full coverage, doesn't settle into wrinkles, hides all age spots, flawless look, oil controlling, doesn't get cakey, 24 hour wear and lightweight. I don't have, right now I don't have a lot of spotting, so I can't really say about that. It's not really hiding or concealing fine lines or enlarged pores as much as I would think due to the ads and the claims. Let's check it out during the day and find out if it settles into wrinkles or if it gets cakey. So far, it's a good foundation, but is it as miraculous as the ads make it seem? Not really. This was $27.97 from the uh, website getlenora.com. I did not find it on any other websites or in any stores. Supposedly it retails for $60. That's the only place I've ever seen it is on this website. So it, it is, it did ship from China. It is designed in the US and it is supposed to be cruelty free. Okay, everybody. It is now been about nine hours since I put on this foundation. And I do not notice any real like settling into lines or caking. It has been some fading, but it is 99 degrees out and lots of humidity, probably 95% humidity. It feels like it at least. It feels like a steam room out there. So I've covered in perspiration and I have noticed, I guess, some slight fading because of the being covered in perspiration but it is not caking. I haven't had any settling into lines. So overall, I do think this Lanera is a very good foundation. Is it the best? No, not really. I don't think this will top the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin, the Chanel Number no. 1, uh, the Dior Forever as among my top, 
but it is, you know, I think a good value for the money. Um, if you can get it at $29.97 like I did. You know, overall, yeah, it's just a decent foundation. It's not a miracle worker. It's not going to smooth all of your lines and make your skin instantly look 15 years younger like the ads say. But it's a good, solid foundation. So anyway, that's the video for today. Everybody, try to stay cool. If you're in California or wherever the Hurricane Hillary is, stay safe. Uh, and thanks for watching. Have a fabulous day. Peace, love, and light.